Hello and welcome to today's edition of The Exchange, brought to you by the New York Stock Exchange. I'm live on the floor right now with Kevin Abbott. He's ETF Portfolio Specialist at Fairlead Strategies. Kevin, thank you for joining. Yeah, thank you for having me. I want to talk about your ETF TAC. Easy to remember, T-A-C-K. T-A-C-K. So, you know, tell us a little bit about it. What's the goal and how do you seek to really achieve the goal of TAC? Yeah, thanks for asking. So uh, the full name is the Fairly Tactical Sector ETF, which again, T-A-C-K, um, nice and ticker TAC. And what we're striving to do with that is um, achieve two goals. And the first is to be invested in the best sectors for the long term in the S&P. But we also want to manage risk by limiting drawdowns. Um, so to speak to that first point, the first goal, which is being invested in the best sectors, you know, how do we do that? So we actually have a rules-based systematic method for looking at the markets, and it's based on technical analysis, which is a bit unique, actually. Um, we're technicians at uh, Fairly Strategies. Our founder and tax portfolio manager, Katie Stockton, she's had about 25 years or so on Wall Street and has really developed an excellent model um, to take a look at the market. So, uh, from that, we look at technical factors such as uh, momentum, relative strength, and we're using these to identify the best long-term sectors in the market. And um, this isn't really a tactical strategy that's meant to kind of chop around. Again, we're really focused on that long-term um, investing. You know, it's something that I hold dear, and um, Katie as well. We really are uh, believers in the long-term, um, um, the long-term viability of the sectors, but. Um, the other part of that, too, is to manage risk, and that's by limiting drawdowns. And we seek to do that by allocating to alternative asset classes, things like gold, things like treasuries, uh, when the market's kind of going against us. So those are our two primary objectives with TAC. So tax has been around now about two years. Two years, I, yes. You know, and when you look at the, the model, when you look at the portfolio, how has it changed or, or adapted to the markets over that time period? Yeah, it's changed quite a bit, actually. So uh, we're coming up, I think we're about three or four days shy, actually, of two years, which we're very proud of and very happy about. Um, when we launched, it was um, March 2022, so very different from um, the market right now. Cyclical bear market and we were able to dynamically change very quickly and adapt based on the model. So we were able to go risk off into those alternative asset classes and it really helped us with performance during that cyclical bear market. Pretty much lasted the entirety of 2022. Now taking a look at the market today, different cyclical bull market and we are actually fully invested uh, within TAC with, with eight sector ETFs. We actually use the um, State Street Spider Suite uh, for our ETF, so it's a fund of funds. and. Um, from our long-term um, bullish bias right now, we're looking to stay inve um, invested in about five to eight sectors so long as that cyclical bull market's in place. Could, could you stay on that mo for a moment? So, yeah. you, so you're, you're talking about sectors. Are, you know, and, and Katie got into this a little bit, by the way, if you didn't catch her podcast, it's available on ETFcentral.com. Uh, she got into this sort of case for sectors. Could you explain a little bit about what that means? What is the case for investing in sectors and how does tax sort of lean in on that, on that proposition? Right, yeah, glad you asked that. So right now we think it's a great time for sector investing. You know, we've really seen an expansion um, uh, um, within sector breadth within the S&P. So last year the market was up, you know, about 26% or so, but it was narrowly led by large cap growth. It was about three sectors that were really driving the market forward. Uh, since the beginning of the year, we've really seen breadth expand. So the number of stocks that are advancing versus the number of stocks that, um, that are declining, we're really seeing more advance. And that's across a whole bunch of different sectors we've seen. And that's, again, not just in large cap growth. We've seen classic cyclicals, for example, industrials, which TAC holds, materials, which TAC holds. That had a breakout just last month. And also within defensive sectors, too. So it's a good um, sector mix, um, for example, even real estate right now. We see that as a long-term turnaround. That was actually the top performing uh, sector in the market in the fourth quarter last year, which is kind of hard to believe. I feel like most don't know that. But um, based upon the sector level, things look good. And then also from the top down, which is how we tend to look at markets, we're also seeing strong momentum in the long term behind the market. And that drives our bullish bias we're seeing. Um, and that just expand also to, to um, other areas of the market. We're seeing the Russell 2000 breakout. We're seeing international markets, the stock 600, the Nikkei 225. I was like a toddler the last time um, it was at those um, levels that it's been at. It's, like, it, it's uh, just hit new all-time highs. So we're bullish on the market and with that, um, also bullish on sectors too. 
And of course, all wrapped in the ETF TAC, T-A-C-K. Now, again, if you missed it, you want to learn more about TAC, you want to learn more and hear more from Katie Stockton and the rest of the team at Fairlead Strategies, you can find it all on our website, ETFcentral.com. Go there, you can go right into the screener. It's free and it's available 24 hours a day. Brought to you by none other than the New York Stock Exchange, the home of ETFs.